While they imprisoned you for speech, please leave your car keys within reach. A proposed Canadian law would allow judges to imprison you for life, but not over something you did. It's what you say, like if you were to say you were for genocide. So what does that even mean? Will they arrest Hamas supporters or arrest Israel supporters because Hamas supporters see them as the genociders? Now, unlike Urkel, I can say... <laughs> I can say genocide is bad, but really life imprisonment for hate speech? In America, you don't even get that for murder. The law would also empower judges to put you under house arrest if they believe you will commit a crime. That, that gets rid of those pesky things like evidence and actually doing something illegal. Of course, Prime Minister Trudeau supports the measure, understandable as an oppressed person of color. <laughs> but there's more. A justice on Canada, Canada's Supreme Court says calling a rape victim in a prior case a woman was unfortunate. And here I thought the unfortunate thing was the rape. And she should have been called, quote, a person with a vagina. And I'm sure that's comforting to the victim. The reason this is considered a mistake, it may have, quote, engendered confusion. Engendered confusion. Sounds like a perfume you'd splash on your cleavage or your balls. <laughs> Sorry, the only gendered confusion comes from the court, not normal people. But I don't need to know if that judge has a butt to declare her an asshole. <laughs> I hope she doesn't arrest me. Finally, Toronto police are telling people to let thieves steal their cars. Said one cop, quote, to prevent the possibility of being attacked in your home, leave your fobs at the front door because they're breaking into your home to steal your car. Come on, Canada. Politeness has its limits. So now you can be arrested for speech while it's made easier for actual criminals to evade arrest over real crime. So in sum, in Canada, you're to leave your keys available to the thieves, and when you call the cops and they arrive and you speak ill of the thieves, you could be arrested. And if you're in court for the arrest and you refer to the female lawyer as a woman, you'll get even more time. Basically, they want you to keep your mouth shut, your car door open, and the more said about everyone's vagina, the better. Meanwhile, the thief is driving your car due south to a country with free speech. USA! 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 There you go, huh? I never did that before. Uh, Lee, what is going on in Canada? I thought they were like our next door cool dorky neighbors, but I'm not so sure. I mean, how hopeless it must feel, how helpless if you are a Toronto resident and the government is telling you that you need to be helping the thieves <laughs> steal your car. <laughs> and there's no fight, no rule of law, no law and order. Essentially, they've, they've given up yeah. on themselves. And, I mean, we have our own problems right here in New York. Mm -hmm. We have prosecutors who refuse to prosecute and pro-criminal laws getting passed. And you think that, you know, New York and California are in some type of race to the bottom and, you know, Toronto's like, you know, hold my Molson. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is a new loan. It's getting worse. Mm, Molson. <laughs> Tyler, uh, why limit it to cars? I mean, do you think the thieves will be happy with that? Why not leave them your wallet so they can get gas? Or maybe a little milk and cookies like they're Santa or something. Sure. And our closets are stuffed with milk and cookies, Greg, because <laughs> just came from your house. Uh, which was, I went, I'm dressed as a trucker. I'm still representing the trucker convoy in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I have a little toy truck, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it might, yeah, maybe their house, you know, you see yeah. a robber, you're like, the, the key's actually under the rock, you know, I'm gonna go, I'll, you know, I'll go live in your tent, eh, you know? <laughs> I just came from Toronto, I did a show, mm -hmm. and you gotta appreciate the free speech we have here. You don't have free speech. And I had a protest at my show, but because Canadians are so pleasant, they did it silently <laughs> and got up and walked out. You know, and so I don't know. We need Jordan Peterson to be like, get your damn life in order. You know, <laughs> Trudeau, get your <laughs> out of your ass. Take the black face off. You know, get a job. Do something with your life. You know, it's like, well, clean your damn room. You know, <laughs> maybe that's a problem. They're all their rooms are all dirty. Exactly. It all goes back to those sheets. Tyrus, uh, <laughs> it, it, it is amazing. There's like three things in here that are just gross. Is Canada over? Listen, I was with South Park when they said blame Canada way yeah. before. I mean, <laughs> they're weird anyways. Their top of their heads don't even connect to the bottom of their mouth. So I stay away from Canada as much as possible. Uh, it's just, it's, it's the message is as clear as day is we're going to allow whatever we want. Shut up about it. Like if you talk about it, if you complain about it, we'll punish you because we can't fix the problem and we don't want to fix the problem. 
So if we break a few eggs, mm -hmm. it's like the lottery. Hopefully you're not one of the eggs. Yeah. Because if it happens, cooperate because we don't want to do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. We don't have the, if someone breaks into your house. If someone breaks in your house to steal a car and there's a woman in there, yeah. they're going to stay for a little more. Like yeah. the idea that your home is not even safe mm -hmm. and that, that your best defense is not fight to the end, not scream and hope the neighbors come. It's give them the keys. Because what did, if I went into somebody's house and they gave me whatever I wanted, there's a good chance I'm going to come back. Yeah. And I'm going to keep coming back. Okay. Oh, you got a new car? All right, boss. Like, <laughs> I'll sit on the porch and wait for you to get home. You, <laughs> hey, Guffel, what'd you get? Barbecue? Mmm, cool. <laughs> Go in the house and give me some sour cream. Oh, no, I'll get it myself. You know, but that's what it's, it's turned into. But we, Canada is their problem, but we're seeing it here. Yeah. We're seeing, now, you want Canada, you want to do that? That's, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> Canada in any circumstances. But in America, we're seeing it where words mean more. Mm hmm. Perfect example. He had to correct a legal. Mm -hmm. Kiss my ass, Mr. President. Like, yeah. how dare you? Like, that's like, come on, man. I, I wouldn't mind that little example of you being at my house and me coming over. I'd have a little friend there when I get uh, home. It's not going to be as friendly as you think, <laughs> Especially when I'm just leaning on you on the couch. And you're like, hey, I, I have to go to the bathroom. You didn't ask. <laughs> and then you're my remote. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the bad part. Ugh. <laughs> Cat. I forgot who I was dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> Cat, imagine if, like, this, like, from now on, you have to say person with vaginas and that, like, spread to companies. The HR department. They're like, what's up, girl? You're like, what's up, vagina? <laughs> yeah. Like, how, and HR would now have to <laughs> condemn you for saying, woman, you must say vagina. It totally reverses human resources. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of things interesting in Canada, for sure. Uh, I, I, the car thing is, is absurd. I mean, like, why don't you just, like, leave the keys in the ignition? Yeah. <laughs> like, why don't you just leave it yeah. running out? For, and what if, like, all the, the auto manufacturers in Detroit think? Maybe, like, yeah. They're not going to be able to sell as many cars. Are they going to sell more cars? People going to give up on cars? It's crazy. But the craziest thing is, is the, the lifetime... Uh, imprisonment for speech yeah because as you pointed out right i mean what it does and does not constitute speech that calls for genocides in the eye of the beholder like right. all speech right that is so i i really never thought someone named justin could be this dangerous yeah, it's true <laughs> it's true it's I, I don't trust anybody named De justin now well, except, except for my massage therapist but how weird is it with their words person with vagina yeah. like it's portable shut up yeah. you know yeah, what i'm saying because if it was portable we'd all have one uh, yeah. you know what i'm saying like i've got two dog i'm not coming out for a week like it just it's not it's not a purse also can't can't the thief just identify as an auto mechanic you know, that's my identity i'm just taking it down to the shop yeah there I'm just you a go penis person come on person with vaginas that would be it, funny it just sounds like a guy you want to know yeah exactly <laughs> Up next, how will Don Lemon cope after Musk told him nope? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.